Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to the Happy Libra. I'm here doing your uh, January uh, 14th, 15th, kind of mid and mid month energies. And uh, Sag, I think we should just jump right into it. So, not seeing too much going on with your first house. I'm looking at your second house of money and values right now, and it is quite activated by planet Mercury planet Pluto, and the sun. I'm a little jealous right now, Sagittarius. I'm a little jealous. Holy smokes. You know, Pluto is the planet of power. And I usually, when I do these readings, I usually don't talk about that. You have the planet of power sitting in your money house right now, Sag, right now. So I don't know what's going on with you. Now, let me tell you what that can bring. It can bring like a, what the F is going on with my, you know, my finances. Okay. It can, it can cause that. But let me tell you, it kind of creates a long-term stability as well. It's not going to feel like that when it's going through the change, but it can create a long-term financial stability for you. So on the good end, it works out, but maybe when it's, cause it's also the planet of transformation, but maybe when it's transforming, it might not feel so good. Okay. But the sun is there and that's good. It's shining and it's positive. It's ruled by Leo. So again, this is all about your money. So you may have come into some business ideas or may have taken some steps to start a new business at this time, Sag. Also, Mercury is there and Mercury is my social media planet. It's also my general communication, media, advertising. Now, this is all going on on in Capricorn, which is another long-term stability zodiac sign. You have a lot of good things going on for you here, Sag. So I don't know if you're trying to make any changes to your finances at this time, but it's showing me that you are, and it's showing me that you're putting in the work and it's showing me that you have something coming for the long haul because you're planting those seeds, you're laying the foundation and you're getting the work done and social using social media is going to work in your favor at this time. Good for you. I'm totally applauding you, Saj. Totally applauding you. Your second house of money and values looks really good. Uh, okay. So the third house talks to me about neighbors and brothers and sisters and close friendships and short distance travel. And, um, you've got Venus there and, um, you've got Saturn there. Now, what is this? Okay. Actually, I know what this is. All right. I'm going to speak to my single Sages right now. Single Sages, listen up. If you're looking for love, this is a very good time because Venus is the planet of love and romance and, you know, touchy feely and whatever, all those beautiful things, Libra, that are romance, right? It's telling me if you are looking for love, a good thing you could do right now is, this is going to sound so freaking weird, go in your neighborhood. Yeah, you could go in your neighborhood and because Aquarius is there, it's telling me if you could go in your neighborhood and get around groups, that's even better. Now, the thing that's coming off the top of my head is like, you know, you join like a spin class. Well, you got groups there and you could go to one in your neighborhood, you know, something like that. So if there's any events going on in your neighborhood, go to them. If you have things like gyms or, you know, yoga classes where people get together in groups, you might want to go. You could end up meeting somebody because your third house is activated by planet Venus right now. And Venus is the planet of love. And it's also the planet of women. And it's also the planet of looking really, really good. So you know what? Get out your cute clothes or, you know, the cute makeup or however you like to wear your hair and get out there. Now, Saturn is there. Now, when it comes to dating, that tells me you could meet somebody older than you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, somebody older and wise. And um, third house. Yes. And this is actually your social media zone. Now, Venus talks about money and astrology as well. And Saturn is like 
laying a foundation. So have you started any online business lately? Because this is a good time because you got money there and you got um, kind of like, hmm, how can I explain Saturn? Um, laying of foundations, money, laying of foundations and social media. And also if you're working with any friends, neighbors, or brothers and sisters, this is giving added power to that area. Okay, Sarge, your fourth house. I'm not seeing too much going on there. Fifth house, fifth house. Ooh, 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 Sarge, ooh, Sarge. So for you, um, this represents the fifth house and you have Jupiter there. Jupiter is my planet of fortune. It's also fame. It's expansion. It's fattening. It's blowing up. It's blessings, blessings. Now, why do you have the planet of blessings in your fifth house of dating and love and creativity and children? Uh, are you getting pregnant at this time? Because goodness gracious, there's a huge chance that that's happening for you, especially seeing that it's in Aries. What would that bring? Ooh, okay. Jupiter in Aries in the fifth house as a transit. I mean... I can only think of everything that's good and I can't think of anything that is specific. This is the dating and creativity house. So if you're single and you want to date, you can actually have many dates. That's what it's telling me. Multiple and multiple dates going on forever. And like you could have so many dates, like it would just be a thing to do basically. Um, but it's stimulating Aries energy. And this is telling me that... You could actually meet somebody who's like a business owner or someone who's just really masculine, if that's what you're looking for. I don't know if you're looking for somebody masculine. Um, or it can make you, this energy can make you quite creative at this time as well. Now, I always talk about the fifth house being my king, king house. So... You may be feeling like you really want to dress your best these days. Or you may be feeling like you want to date, but only the best these days. And nothing is wrong with that because your fifth house is being stimulated. And the fifth house is my king queen energy because it's ruled by zodiac sign of Leo. Okay, your sixth house. Okay. So there's something going on with you, Sag, having to do with your work that is destined for you in this lifetime. Whatever it is that you're choosing to do, whatever that is new for you and feels right for you, it's part of your destiny. Yeah. So there's, there could be something changing having to do with your work. I'm talking about the daily work that you do. All right, six, seven. And in your seventh house, you have Mars. You have Mars activating your seventh house okay so sad this is actually a lot of sexual energy mars going through the seventh house can mean a lot of flings i'm just going to tell you especially it's in gemini can be in a lot of flings now that could be flings with one person or could be flings with multiple people it's not my business let's keep going eighth house not much nine ten eleven okay you got your moon in libra in hopes dreams and wishes um, okay, whatever is going on with you at this time, because your hopes, dreams, and wishes house is being highlighted by the moon, and the moon talks about our emotions, it's making you feel really good. It's making you feel really There's something about this month at this time that is activating your hopes, dreams, and wishes, and making you feel really emotionally good. And 12, and that would be it. So Sagittarius, I want to thank you so much for joining me for this reading for the, the energies of mid-January 2023. Uh, this is the Happy Libra. If this reading was entertaining for you, please do leave it a thumbs up. Of course, leave me a comment if you like. And of course, subscribe to my channel to get your reading for the February to come. Bye for now.